Yo, it's Trevelli. I'm back, and today I'm telling you guys why you should not be sleeping on Elijah Moore, the rookie wide receiver for the New York Jets. I think this guy is going to be a huge playmaker this year for Zach Wilson and the young Jets offense. But before we get into that, I just want to say please like, comment, and subscribe as always so we get this video out to as many people as possible. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That way you get my daily notifications for when I'm dropping videos, which is Monday through Friday, because I'm never slacking. Now let's jump into the action. I'm living life like this. Maybe get a so, Elijah Moore, I just want to give you guys a quick backstory. Guy went to St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which happens to be in my backyard. He is 21 years old and attended Ole Miss University. At his time in Ole Miss, he really became a big-time playmaker in his sophomore season in 2019, where he was able to reach the All-SEC third team, according to Athlon Sports. But in 2020 is when he really broke onto the scene as an All-American first team, according to AP, and an All-SEC first team, according to AP and the coaches poll. As a junior, he was just sensational, virtually unguardable. The five foot ten, speedy, shifty receiver with great route running was able to accumulate 86 receptions for 1,193 yards and eight touchdowns during just his eight game stint as a junior. Think about this. Moore was just 127 yards shy of AJ Brown's 2018 mark of 1,320 yards, which was set over a span of 12 games, not eight. So very impressive numbers at Ole Miss for Elijah Moore. And besides his numbers, I just wanted to make a quick statement. Matt Corral, being a great quarterback, was able to put him in a lot of good positions, throw him open. And a lot of the times when he did get the ball over the middle, he just flat out outran the defenders that he was going against, which is the SEC. So that's a quick note you have to take. Against the best defenders in college football, this guy was breaking away time and time again, shifting people out of their shoes, breaking ankles, whatever you want to call it. He was doing it. And another big factor for him at Ole Miss was Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin is one of the best offensive coaches in the country. If he was able to instill some of his offensive genius into Elijah Moore moving forward, this will help him read coverages better in the NFL and give him a head start on other rookie NFL receivers that did not have the same coaching. So Lane Kiffin, I think, had a very big impact on not only his stats because of his play calling, what he was able to teach him from a coaching standpoint will carry forward for Elijah Moore for years to come. Now, I want to bring up really quickly that on his pro day, Moore posted a 4.34 40-yard dash time. So when I say he's shifty and fast, I mean it. He was second in the draft only to Henry Ruggs the third in that 40-yard dash category. Now, he was drafted by the Jets in the second round of this year's draft, pick number 34, and his connection with Zach Wilson will grow through this offseason since it's not like last season where it was very limited. They will be able to work together a lot. That way they can grow their chemistry and become synchronized. And they do need to figure out what they want to do with Crowder now that he did resign and he restructured his contract. He is kind of a slot receiver as well. And you have Braxton Berrios who kind of played well last year. It's kind of like the Jets have a lot of slot receivers on this roster and they kind of need to figure out what they want to do with Elijah Moore. Is he going to be the best rookie slot receiver in the NFL or are they going to shift him out wide and give him a chance even at five foot ten, to just use that blazing speed to get over the top. It's something that we'll definitely have to take a look at with the running game and the O-line that will need major improvement. But for now, I do believe this is a step in the right direction as far as the passing game goes for this young Jets wide receiver core. Now, an article that came out today by Rick Chimney, I think, by Rick Chimney, I think that's how you say it, ESPN staff writer. He was basically uh, coming out today in an article and saying that, you know, the Jets got a big time steal, that this guy is going to be really good, um, that you're going to get a guy that every single year, this is not a facade. He's literally going to be at practice at 630 in the morning to get extra work in before the rest of the players get there. And this is not just something to impress the coaches. They're saying this is going to be an every single year thing. So if that is true, you're going to get a player that's going to work extremely hard on top of the fact that he's already talented. Being being able to get trained by wide receivers like Odell Beckham, Stefan Diggs, and Antonio Brown and absorbing the knowledge from them. So he was definitely on the right path before he even got to the NFL. And now that he's on the Jets, I just think that he is going to be such a stud in this league. And I guess the final note we have to say is that as long as he doesn't do anything stupid like he did in the Egg Bowl, which it seems like he definitely learned this lesson. You guys should definitely read this article. I could drop the link in the description for you guys. It seems like he learned his lesson as long as he did. 
uh, and he doesn't do anything stupid like urinating like a dog on the field anymore. I think this guy is going to have a super successful rookie campaign. And if you're a DFS player or even season long fantasy player, I would definitely look to steal this guy later rounds in your fantasy draft because he's definitely going to step up for you this year. I think he's going to help a lot. And I do believe that he will be the best rookie slot receiver in the league if they put him there. And I gave you guys all the reasons why. So as always, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great day. As always, peace. I'm living life like this. Maybe give a little glimpse. Maybe give a little.